<laughs> Welcome back to the big, big world. It's a big world. It's a big, big world. It's a big world. Such a big, big world. It's a big world. It's a big, big world. It's a big world. It's a big, big world. It's a big, big world. Don't you agree? Big enough for you and me. I'm a big old slot. I may be slow, but see my friends. It's a big, big world. Come to the big world. Such a big, big world. It's a big world. It's a big, big world. It's a big world. It's a big, big world. Find your tree house. The tree's so tall. It's a big world after all. Boy, I love reading about animals. Hmm, maybe that's because I am one. Oh, you like reading about animals too? Cool. Okay, here's a question. Who do you think is the slowest creature? Take your time. Were you guessing me? <laughs> well, thank you. I like to think we sloths are the slowest creatures around. I mean, Him. we're so slow, in fact, Him. that we... Him. Oh, hey, Snail. Hello, Snook. I'm afraid I must differ with you. Differ? Oh, that's okay. So you disagree? Yes, I disagree. Differ, whatever. But I think I am slower than you. Oh, well, you may be slower than me, Snail. You're certainly smaller. Thank you. Us snails pride ourselves on being small, slow, and slimy. <laughs> yep, you got me on all three of those. I tip my paw to the slowest of all creatures, the snail. Well, thank you. <laughs> I guess that's the one good thing about being a snail. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Hey, what's wrong, snail? You sound a little down. Maybe. Yeah, I guess I am, cuz... Oh, there's no one to play with. Really? No one in the whole world tree? That's what I said, Snook. No one wants to be my friend. Oh, I don't believe that. We make friends all the time, even when we least expect it. Yeah, well, I don't expect anything. I don't think I get along with anyone. Oh, that's just not true, Snail. You get along with me. Hey, remember the time Rocky and Winslow became friends? You want a shell? You couldn't handle a shell! Oh, yeah? Well, you couldn't handle swinging through the trees! I could, too. I dare you. I dare you to wear a shell. You're on. Phew! Made it! Rocky? You were right. It's not easy having a shell. But I've never been up in a tree so far. Nice view. Yeah, it's one of my favorite places to watch the sunset. It's awful warm up here, and I'm kind of missing the mud. Hey, my shell is pretty hot, too. <sighs> I don't think monkeys are meant to have shells. And I'm not meant to live in a tree. <laughs> OK. OK, come on. I'll take you back to where I found you. Yay! See, Snail? We're making friends all the time, even when we don't realize it. Maybe. I do not know. I think we snails are mostly loners, especially when it comes to worms. Huh? Yes, even a worm isn't lowly enough to be friends with a snail. Oh, now I don't believe that. What makes you feel that way? Wormy and I had this misunderstanding. And next thing I know, Wormy is not talking to me. I guess things really have gotten bad when a worm won't talk to a snail. Yeah, they certainly have. Well, it's important to treat your friends nicely, but misunderstandings do happen, and that's OK. Really? I did not know that. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the time Smooch got so mad at Warts and Burdett? You are the matter, Warts. You're in my garden eating my plants. I'm not. You 
are. Oh, well, actually, I'm not. I'm eating. Well, don't let me catch you here again. Oh, okay. If that's the way you want it. I, I was only trying to help. <laughs> Huh? <clears throat> Birdette, what are you doing with my berries? You're eating them too soon. They're not ripe. I know they're not ripe. I'm just trying to help you, and I... By eating everything in sight? Eat everything? I don't think so. Well, I do think so. I would really appreciate it if you could leave my garden alone! Ouch! Well, okay then. Ugh, monkeys. So, Burdette, what were you eating in Smooch's garden? I was picking off all the berry bush bugs. I thought Smooch would appreciate not having to pick them off herself. So you were helping me? The grubs and bugs would have eaten your lettuce and berries if it hadn't been for warts and Burdette. That's about it, Smooch. But I'm happy to come back to your garden any time if you want me to. You are the best little flying bugs ever. Thank you, warts. And of course you can come back to my garden. You too, Burdette. I'm so sorry. Aw, that's nice. See, Snail? Smooch misunderstood what Burdette and Warts were doing at first, but when she found out later, she said she was sorry, and everything worked out just fine. I guess misunderstandings do happen. Yeah, they do. But friends are important, and good friends work together to solve problems. Really? They can do that? Yeah. Remember what happened when Winslow, Bob, and the Dragonfly joined forces to protect the Sappinwood tree? Dun, dun, dun! You will never get past me, monkey. Oh, yeah? Ha! <laughs> uh, Winslow? He can fly in almost any direction. Um, I think we should give up and run away. Yes, I got four wings, so I can hover, fly backwards as fast as I do forwards, float, loop the loop, so get back. Okay, so you can fly a bit, but... Why can't I take some branches off that tree? Because it's my tree. That's why my family has taken care of it forever. So I'm not about to let a monkey near it. So if I were you, I'd go somewhere else. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, uh, Winslow, I think we should have... Oh, uh, leave. Let's run away. No. Well... We'll be back, Dragonfly, and next time you won't be so lucky. Ooh, I'm so scared. Uh, bye. We are the guardians of the Sappinwood Tree. Dun, dun, dun. And we want to help you. What? Help me? Oh, yes. Uh, did you know that your tree may be the last one of its kind left in the big, big world? The last one? Oh, no. Things are worse than I thought. Really? Oh, yes. Once, there used to be so many sappinwood trees, and we dragonflies lived in their shade. Mm, that sounds nice. But one by one, they were all cut down or destroyed, and no one planted more. Well, that's why we're here, to help you. But you were going to take its leave to patch your monkey hut. Well, not anymore because now we guardians are here to help you, Dragonfly. You are not alone. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, guardians of the Sappinwood Tree. Dun, dun, dun. They were so brave. Oh, I wish they had asked me to join. Well, you'll just have to ask them next time. What the, the, ask them? Yeah, it's okay to be shy, Snail, but sometimes you have to ask if you want to play with someone. Ooh, I might have to give that a try. And remember, everyone can be friends, no matter how different we are. Every day brings something new. 
Whatever changes we go through, I'll still be me, you'll still be you. We'll still be friends through thick and thin. If it rains for one whole week. If I catch cold and I can't speak. If I win at hide and seek. We'll still be friends. We'll still be friends. We'll still be friends. One by one, we can take the rain and take the sun. We, we can, can take, take tomorrow, tomorrow as it comes, and we'll still be friends. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Snook. I am going to march right out and find me a <clears throat> worm. Phew, it took so long to get up here. I bet. A uh, snail. I was um, wondering, uh, would you like to, well, play? Would I? Would I? Oh, let's go! Yay! Want a race? Oh, how about tag? You're it! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! No, you're not! <laughs> <laughs> this could take a while. Spinning round and round, it's true. We've had our time and now we're through. But you and I forever will be friends. We'll try to touch the sky where clouds never end. And we'll search for wonder all around. You'll find me hanging upside down And you and I together in a big, big world We'll try to touch the sky in a big, big world You have to go, I know it's time So give me five this whole world is yours and mine. La 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 Oh, hey. I just love how different all the creatures that live here in the World Tree are. You can meet a lot of different animals, too. Visit the zoo and... Maybe you can come back and tell me about some animals that I've never met. See ya. Animals sure are cool. Especially turtles like my friend Madge. Did you know that Madge doesn't have any teeth? And it's not because she's so old. Turtles have hard, sharp edges in their mouths instead of teeth. And those are what Madge uses to munch her food. She uses her mouth mm, almost like a bird uses its beak. Hey, can you think of one of my friends who has a beak? That's right, Burdette. My friend Oko is a monkey, and we all know he is one interesting animal. Did you know that the fastest monkeys can travel through the trees as fast as 30 miles an hour? That's probably as fast as the bus you ride to school. Can you imagine that? Boy, I sure can't. <laughs> but I'm a sloth, and we're pretty slow. Being as fast as a monkey would really come in handy in a race. Wouldn't you like to be fast like Oko? He's a pretty cool monkey.